What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Martha Mathers Monday. Monday, where we get into all things Eminem and Eminem related. All right, so this week, it's your week. Which one did you choose? Drug Ballad. Oh, yeah, a classic right here. Love this song. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's go. Probably. You think M was also on drugs making this song? You think they were on drugs making this song? It, knowing what they were doing, that definitely. I'm, there's no doubt in my mind. But who was the artist that's singing the? Oh, we'd have to look it up. It doesn't show on here. Wow. Before we even get started. Wow. <laughs> She gives me a Tina Marie vibe. I never knew who it was. I never looked into it, to be honest. I'm not saying it's Tina Marie. Though. I will say this. This song is I mean, an example. Gonna... Dina Ray. Dina okay. Ray? Yes. Okay. But yeah, this song is she an was example also on that, that counteracts that argument of Eminem never gets played in clubs. Because this is one of those. And people tend, tend to forget that club music is just stuff with like a, an interjected beat to it. <laughs> yeah. This, this, this is a girl from Superman. So. <laughs> Guess what? I ain't coming in, I ain't coming in yet. yet. Yeah. I don't feel like it. Not yet. Not yet. Let it run. Hey, yo. This All is right. my love song. Right. It goes like Let this. Go. Back when Mark Wahlberg was Marky Mark. This is how we used to make the party start. We used to mix in with Bacardi Dark. And when it kicks in, you can hardly talk. And by the 6'10", you gon' probably crawl. And you'll be sick then. And you'll probably barf. And my prediction is you gon' probably fall. Either his literal breakdown I've experienced because he talks about uh, the uh, the dark alcohol that he talks about gin, which is typically uh, light alcohol. Mm-hmm. I did that once. Mixed dark and light. Yeah. Parked my ass off the entire next day. <laughs> Might have been the same night for me. <laughs> Craziest my, hangover. Mine was the next day. It was like I was hanging out with homies that was in my complex and we went through a bottle of brandy. And then I went over to uh, my homeboy's house down the street around the corner, and we went through some gin. <laughs> Came <laughs> home, passed out. Next morning, ugh, can, can, I, can I tell day. my story? Go for it. <laughs> Mine was the bachelorette party experience. Like oh. we had already <laughs> that been story. that story. So, bad. <laughs> so we started off at one place. My best friend had Jello shots. Then she had shots in the little fake. Um, like needle things that, like that you give the kid like they would give you shots so we had shots in there we had shots in you know adult items fun items but we ended up doing a scavenger hunt at the club long story short i started off with dark it no started off with light ended with dark we were getting ready to leave the club they were like just go to the bathroom and don't lock the door <laughs> who locked the door me and then i pass out in the bathroom <laughs> stall with the door locked. And now people are now knocking on the door and I'm passed oh, out. Man. So my lovely sister-in-law, if you ever see this video, you already know the story, but you're going to be mad that I told. My lovely sister-in-law had to climb, crawl on the floor and go <laughs> underneath the stall door to unlock <laughs> it to let me out. And then some random lady slapped the sh- dog out of me talking about you're gonna kill your friend you're gonna let her die you guys suck <laughs> wow you guys were messed up i've never <laughs> heard I was i've never heard this story and that my best hilarious. friend ended up getting kicked out the club for trying to fight the girl to, who tried to slap me then they were like do you want to go to the hospital i was like no nah, i just want to go back to the hotel and go to bed because i'm getting married in the morning long story short don't mix your life in your dark. <laughs> I've never heard this story. Oh, well, man. now you've heard it. That's but yeah, crazy. But yeah, his breakdown right here, I've literally, literally done This that is how we used to make the party start. We used to mix in with Bacardi Dark. And when it kicks in, you can hardly talk. And by the six ten, you gon' probably crawl. And you'll be sick then, and you'll probably barf. And my prediction is you gon' probably fall. Either somewhere in the lobby or the hallway wall. And everything's spinning. You're beginning to think women are swimming in pink linen again. Then in a couple of minutes, that bottle of Guinness is finished. You are now allowed to officially slap bitches. You have the right to remain oh. violent and start wild. Officially. Because I'm drunk now. <laughs> because you're you drunk know, officially. officially. You now have the official yeah, slap a hoe license. <laughs> you get drunk and now you're a certified white beer. <laughs> Violent and 
and start wildin'. Start a fight with the same guy that was smart behind you. Get in your car, start it, and start driving over the island and cause a 42 car pileup. What are you calling? Pirate to co pilot, looking for life on this planet, sir. No. 42 car pileup. 42 cars is <laughs> like, crazy. How enough. many people do you need drunk for that many cars to be piled on each other? That, that <laughs> At that point, that's not a traffic exactly. accident, that's a national event. One person, because now everybody else is just like, oh shit, they didn't see it coming, and now. But to get to 42? 42 is <laughs> crazy. That is like, literally, that's not a car like, accident. Like 10 cars pile up because it's hard to react. But how do you become the 42nd person? <laughs> at, at some point, you're like, dog. You had to be drunk too. It has you to, had be to be reactable too. at some point. <laughs> Earth calling, pilot to co pilot, looking for life on this planet, sir. No sign of it. All I can see is a bunch of smoke flying, and I'm so high that I might die if I go by it. Let me out of this place. I'm out of place. I'm in outer space. I've just vanished without a trace. I'm going to a pretty place now where the flowers grow. I'll be back in an hour or so. That, that part made me laugh so hard. He is cooked. Oh, man. This, like, paints a picture. Could you imagine an alien coming down to a rave party and just getting high with everyone? Every time I go to try to leave, Whoa. some keeps pulling on my sleeve. Whoa. I don't want it, but I gotta stay. Whoa. These drugs really got a hold of me. Cause every time I try to tell them no, no. they won't let me ever let them go. go. I'm a sucker, all I gotta say. Whoa. These drugs really got a hold of me. Whoa. In third grade, all I used to do was sniff glue through a tube and play Rubik's Cube. 17 years later, oh. I'm as rude as Jew. Scheming on the first. You're the youngest. Hi. Have you ever sniffed glue? No. I don't even know if they had that kind of glue around still when he was coming up. They were sniffing Elmer's glue. <laughs> it's the same. School glue ain't changed. I didn't sniff glue. I didn't eat glue. I didn't eat crayons. Remember, you didn't never put the, the glue on your hands and peel it off? Mm -mm. He didn't play with glue huh, either. No. I mean, we all played with glue. <laughs> from our generation. Now, see, I never but, sniffed the glue or ate the glue. I do know there was a little white boy in my uh, class at elementary school. He used to eat the paste. You know, like the Elmer's paste. I was mm -hmm. like, bro, paste, though? No. I, I never did eat that. I remember seeing the commercials, though, like the, the D.A.R.E. commercials about glue and paint. <laughs> I never thought it was any of anything that you really should be doing. I didn't think that you should huff why should paint. you be inhaling glue and paint? And at the time, because like I said, those kind of those kind of stuff don't exist thing. as intensely as they do now. But they used to be like these, uh, like paint markers and these really like Damn. strong glues with these strong smells that, by accident, if you they came too close to your face, they could give you a buzz, just just hitting you and everything. So there were people, there were really people out there okay. that was just high off glue is I mean, fucking no, crazy. Look, it was happening. It was glue. It was paint. I knew people that did sniff gasoline. Because normally, like, you know, pure paint and everything will, will like, get you a little disoriented if you huff it and everything. And so they had markers that was made from the same, you know, natural paints and everything, and people were huffing them. They <laughs> that's started, that's why they strong. started... That's why we started seeing all these variations, like the water safe and the um the scent free ones. Now they started making all these variations, trying to get rid of the ones that people were huffing. <laughs> that shit about as strong as smelling salts. <laughs> For real. Dude, that shit, you First chick with the hugest boobs. I got no game. And every face looks the same. They got no name. So I don't need game to play. I just say whatever I want to whoever I want. Whenever I want. Wherever I want. However I want. However, I do show some respect to few. It's ecstasies. Got me standing next to you. Getting sentimental as fuck. Spilling guts to you. We just met. But I think I'm in love with you. But join it too. So you tell me you love me too. Wake up in the morning like, yeah, what the fuck no, we do? I got bring back all the stories. Uh, there is how no that love. one time I wanted to try that. Excellent. Explicit thing that he talked about, uh, <laughs> and uh, I never did. You did? No, they wouldn't let me. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, no, protect her at all costs. No, they was like, however you feel emotionally is how you're gonna feel off of this pill. So That's true. no, you can't do it. <laughs> you I, was, can't I, do I it. was, I was turned off from doing it by how it was explained to me because I had a homeboy who explained it to me and was like. Dude, it just makes all the sensations more intense. It's like you could take some and then just get in your car with the window rolled down and the air will just be like caressing. And I'm like, dude, I don't want to get molested by air. Like, what? 
that's not something I want to do. <laughs> Getting touched by the breeze might be the craziest thing I've heard in a minute. Like, wait, what? No. My God, brothers, because I used to do, I was like, let me just get one. Can I get a half of one? I just want to try it. It was like, no. Nope. <laughs> and I'm the oldest. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> this is my house. They were like, no, nope, and I was trying, and they was like, no, no, no. <laughs> they they had to draw the line and before after that, it was like, I'm not even fit to go back and forth with y'all. So I guess they had to draw the line in your house. I'll never even, <laughs> I'll, I'll never know Mm-mm. what it was like, and maybe too because I was a mom. Because this is you were probably one or two cooked. Hey, it was like, nah, Good. No, you nope. can do a lot of stuff, but that yeah, You was... have responsibilities in life. No, you can't risk it. Not that ass. <laughs> but they was like, oh, you can, you, you can smoke all the weed you want, but... Uh... Oh, man, that's funny. That X, they, wasn't, they were not, not. having it. And after the majority, so we want to try it again. I was like, you know what? <laughs> Y'all done just ruined this. Y'all ain't shit. No. Y'all ain't shit. <laughs> I guess I don't want it now. Hmm. Oh, man. We just met, but I think I'm in love with you. But join it too, so you tell me you love me too. Wake up in the morning, like, yeah, what the fuck we do? I gotta go, bitch. You know I got stuff to do. Cause if I get caught cheating, then I'm stuck with you. But in the long run, these drugs are probably gonna catch up. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck up. Oh, I, I got a girlfriend. I don't know who the fuck you are. And if you find out that I fuck you, I gotta be here. But you would not even know you like that. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. like, nope, not doing it. All roads end to all roads end to cook. <laughs> all roads end to cook. Like him not finna fight me oh, today. Man. Don't run these drugs are probably gonna catch up sooner or later, but fuck it, I'm on one. So let's enjoy. Let the X destroy your spinal cord. So it's not a straight line no more. So we walk well, around looking like some wind up dogs. Shit sticking out of our backs like a dinosaur. Shit, six hits won't even get me high no more. So bye for now. I'm gonna try to find some more. So wrong. That was one thing yeah. I was like. So wrong. It's gonna look like, like a dinosaur. Dance. <laughs> Why? Wind up dolls. <laughs> Why does she now need to look like a dinosaur? What is she gonna be at? What's the one with the spider? Stegosaurus. Yes. It's gonna be a stegosaurus. Coolios has got you looking like a stegosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. He's pulling on my sleeve. Whoa. I don't want it, but I gotta stay. Whoa. These drugs really got a hold of me. Whoa. Every time I try to tell him no, no. they won't let me ever let him go. go. I'm a sucker, all I gotta say. Whoa. These drugs really got a hold of me. That's the sound of a bottle when it's hollow. When you swallow it all, wallow and drown in your sorrow. And tomorrow, you're probably gonna want to do it again. What's a little spinal fluid between you and a friend? I know it. Oh. Oh. Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Ew. Oh, man. First off, why is spinal tapping anybody? <laughs> spinal fluid First is off, crazy. What is this, Attack on Titan? They over here They over here shooting up for real, for real. First off, how far did you put in the needle to get... First off, why are we sticking it in somebody's back? How many of your veins have you blown <laughs> if we are now going to the back? And getting spinal fluid. That's like hearing about them stories about people using their foot or their the, the upper part of their neck. Like, dude, oh. at that point, it's over. At it's that over. point, You're, you are That's an the, addict. You yeah, are an addict. Yeah, because you don't got no You're other reliable. Cool. You're so cooked. For real. Look, I have a disability. I've been to the hospital a couple of times. They put the IV in my hand. It hurt so bad. I couldn't people, even... Um, and that's probably why... I don't do intravenous drugs where you gotta stick me with something. Cause Injection? <laughs> the pain. I don't, I, they don't, I don't like needles. I, I can get a tattoo because it's a different type, but you, but I don't know. You have no veins left if we are now <laughs> going to the back. back. <laughs> the back? D- direct insertion right there. Because you direct, have blown Directly everything. to my brain, you go. <laughs> you put in that shit directly in your central and nervous system. You have stick it in your head. For real. <laughs> Inject that shit through your cranium. Ooh, man. Final fluid between you and a friend. Screw it. And what's a little bit of alcohol poisoning? And what's a little fight? Tomorrow you'll be boys again. It's your life. Ooh. Living out. That, that's, that's sadly true. <laughs> I would have no Die. clue. For some reason, men. Oh, man. Men. I see too many homies getting knocked down, drag out fights, they're drunk. Next day, 
Yo, what's up, man? Well, they pick it up, you know, go like, back, uh, get, uh, and then they go out and go get drunk together and again. Really? <laughs> like, it's got to be a maturity level because ain't no way we out here that fucked up and brawling, fighting, and we cool tomorrow because. After I sober up, I'm gonna remember it. I think it's also an alcoholic thing because the dudes that would do it was drinking to the point to where they didn't really remember the fight anyway by the next morning. <laughs> that was damn. What happened? Shit. I, and then somebody else. This is normally a third party in there. This guy be like, "Man, y'all started throwing blows. Look, yeah, like, for what? You say this. You said that. Oh man, I was messed up. Yeah, man. For, all right, what you want to do tonight? Let's go get drunk. <laughs> yeah, and they're like, hell yeah, fuck it. So they didn't even know. They wasn't even mad at each other. They just ended up fighting just because they're too aggressive. Men are simple, simple, <laughs> simple creatures. For real. However you wanna, marriage wanna is everywhere. Where was you brought up? It don't matter as long as you get where you're going. Cause none of this shit's gonna mean shit where we're going. They tell you to stop, but you just sit there ignoring. Even though you wake up feeling like shit every morning. But you're young, you got a lot of drugs to do. Girls to screw, parties to crash, sucks to be you. If I could take it all back now, I wouldn't. I <laughs> They live in that wild You're destructive young, life. You've got a lot of drugs to do. <laughs> a, and a lot whole of bunch drugs of to girls do. to screw. Suck so, to be you. It's like it's like at the same time letting you know that you're not gonna feel good about it on the other side. <laughs> do it while you take can. it all back now. I wouldn't. I would have did more shit than people said that I shouldn't. But I'm all grown up now and upgraded and graduated to better drugs and updated. But I still better got a lot of growing up to do. I still got yeah, you, yeah, you talking you about you growing up in your career. Remember, remember, this is album number two, so this is him talking about the difference between broke M and rich M. <laughs> when you get rich, you get access to a different type of drug. Because even when he talked about in later albums and everything, talking about, you know, his detoxing and stuff, the fact that once he became famous, it was like he didn't even have to look anymore. People were at his doorstep trying to offer him stuff. Right. Give him the high end. That was drug delivery 101. For real. Drop it off over here. A whole lot of throwing up to spew. But when it's all said and done, I'll be 40 before I know it. With a 40 on a porch telling stories. With a bottle of Jack, two grandkids in my lap. Babysitting for Haley. While well, Haley's out getting smashed. Every time I go to try to leave, Whoa. some keeps pulling on my sleeve. I have to continue in. <laughs> well, thankfully, from what we've seen, it has not. <laughs> Crazy. Remember, this is this is before um, ended up in the hospital. So. Yeah, I know, but I'm just he was just, he, was just, he was just wilding out he on this one. Yapping. We just perpetuating. Hey, you gonna do the same? And remember, thing. this is the album where he was trying to intentionally get canceled. <laughs> Mm-mm. And it's oh, oh, I don't wanna, but I gotta stay. Real. These drugs really got a hold of me. Cause every time I try to tell them no, no, they won't let me ever let them go. go. I'm a sucker. All I gotta say. Or smoke weed <laughs> every day. <laughs> oh man! Well, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you for smoke weed too every day. Zero. That's the goat. Let's go. <laughs> thank you for giving us the explicit lyrics on that. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Uh, but this song, this song was both hilarious, and it was one of for those people who always be like, "No, not in the clubs." No, this one because I've heard it working downtown. <laughs> This is one of the few, but a, great song. a club song requires that that energetic beat. If you got that, then it's club worthy. I have learned some interesting things about my parents today. <laughs> All stuff from when either when either before you was born or just do. <laughs> but yeah, that was fun. You guys this needed is a great help. song. You guys needed help. You didn't need help. <laughs> you made it out just fine on the other side. <laughs> See, there were certain lines we didn't cross. That's the thing. There were certain boundaries that we didn't we didn't go off any ledges or do anything super wild. That's the thing. I'm gonna tell you right now, I wasn't one of them people who was like, "Oh, I'm a smoke weed. That's the gateway drug, and now I'm gonna do everything." No, 
Okay. My thing, I was cautious, and then I saw people on the certain drugs that I was slightly curious about, and I was like, yeah. And no, for the most things. part, when I was getting shit faced, drunk, for the most part, I was at my own house. Because I just don't believe in going to the club, spending $40 to get in, and then spending $10, $20 on watered-down drinks to listen to music I don't like, and then you to kick me out. Or, I do it all at my house. I go to the liquor store, buy what I want, get the mixers that I want, and when I get drunk enough, guess where I go? To my room and go to bed. Yep, or the other one that I was like, no, nah, I'm not doing that, is going out to just random house parties and stuff and getting so messed up that you don't even have your senses or wear nothing around like 50, 60 strangers. That's how you get cooked. Exactly. That's how nope. you get cooked. And it's like, you gotta be cautious in life. You never know what's gonna happen. As far mm. as the other thing, I only smoke weed. So, and I wasn't smoking with just anybody because I don't know you. I don't know what mm-hmm. you got. I don't know what you put in this. So, <laughs> bent based weed. No, people do that no, all the people, time. We'll no, lace people it, not will tell lace you. your stuff, not tell you. People, mm-hmm. and then if you dumb and gullible in the streets, people will sell you oregano. And then you don't went home and, 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 and smoke <laughs> seasoning. Smoking oregano is... What people, <laughs> if, you don't, if you don't know, if you don't know the streets and you don't know how to function, people will get you with all kinds of stuff. Well, I know about people, got you out here some... No, no. I, I know about people who were like, who were like crackheads and got sold chips of soap. <laughs> so they 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 gonna start smelling smelling you parsley leaves for real. And they have. Unlike you, we didn't need help. Exactly. We had we were... Street Smarts and Book Smarts. You say we didn't need help. We didn't. We didn't. You said unlike you. What does that mean? Well, <laughs> what, does, know, what does well, that mean? Somebody uh, will sell you parsley. Uh-uh. <laughs> well, you ain't out there like or that. So, I'm not. Thankfully, you you we made sure you don't have to be out there like I'm that. I'm not cooked. <laughs> For real. But yeah, this is a great one. So y'all know what to do. Go down in the comment section. Let us know what y'all thought about this one. Let us know what you'd like to see us react to next. Hit that like button before you go. Share this video with everyone you know. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. All right. So subscribe or die, people. Jesus. <laughs> you heard the threats. <laughs> So take till till next time. Take care of yourselves. And we're out of here. We will act on it. <laughs> Y'all be easy.